Welcome to Legal Baatcheet. Today, we will be diving into a crucial aspect of the Indian Constitution, Article 3, and exploring its significance in altering state boundaries. We will first see what Article 3 talks about formation of new states and alteration of areas, boundaries or names of existing states, it states that Parliament may by law. A. Form a new state by separation of territory from any state or by uniting two or more states or parts of states or by uniting any territory to a part of any state. B. Increase the area of any state. C. Diminish the area of any state. D. Alter the boundaries of any state. E. Alter the name of any state. Provided that no bill for the purpose shall be introduced in either House of Parliament except on the recommendation of the President and unless, where the proposal contained in the bill affects the area, boundaries or name of any of the states, the bill has been referred by the President to the legislature of that state for expressing its views thereon within such period as may be specified in the reference or within such further period as the President may allow and the period so specified or allowed has expired. Explanation I, in this article, in clauses, A, 2, E, state includes a union territory, but in the proviso, state does not include a union territory. Explanation 2. The power conferred on parliament by clause, A, includes the power to form a new state or union territory by uniting a part of any state or union territory to any other state or union territory. Article 3 of the Indian Constitution is a crucial provision that empowers the Parliament to alter the boundaries of any state in India. This provision has significant implications for the unity and integrity of India. Article 3 was added to the Indian Constitution during the drafting process by the Constituent Assembly. It has since been used to alter the boundaries of several states, including the creation of Telangana in 2014. While Article 3 gives significant powers to the Parliament, it is not unlimited. The provision requires the consent of the affected state governments and has been subject to judicial interpretation over the years. Article 3 has significant implications for the federal structure of India and the rights of its citizens. It has been used to create new states, but also to redraw boundaries, which can have far-reaching consequences for local communities. Article 3 has been the subject of several controversies and debates over the years. Some argue that it gives too much power to the parliament, while others believe that it does not go far enough in recognizing the rights of local communities. In conclusion, Article 3 of the Indian Constitution is a crucial provision that has significant implications for the unity and integrity of India. It is important to understand its origins, scope, and limitations, as well as the controversies and debates surrounding it. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to Legal Baatcheet for more engaging legal discussions.